Howdy y'all. This is Proverbs 26 in the NKJV for May the 26th, 2023. As snow in summer and rain in harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a flitting sparrow or a flying swallow, so a curse without cause shall not alight. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the fool's back. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. He who sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. Like the legs of the lame that hang limp is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like one who binds a stone in a sling is he who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn that goes into the hand of a drunkard is a proverb in the mouth of fools. The great God who formed everything gives the fool his hire and the transgressor his wages. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There's more hope for a fool than for him. The lazy man says, there's a lion in the road. A fierce lion is in the streets. As the door turns on its hinges, so does the lazy man on his bed. The lazy man buries his hand to the bowl and it wearies him to bring it back to his mouth. The lazy man's wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. He who passes by and meddles in a quarrel not his own is like one who takes a dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Where there is no wood, the fire goes out. Where there is no tail bear, strife ceases. As charcoal is to burning coals and wood to a fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles, and they go down into the inmost body. Fervent lips with a wicked heart are like earthen, earthenware covered with silver dross. He who hates disguises it with his lips and lays up deceit within himself. When he speaks kindly, don't believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it. Whoever rolls a stone will have it roll back onto him. A lying tongue hates who, those who are crushed by it, and a flattering mouth works ruin. Man, I, I know I really, I've said several times, I really appreciate the metaphor of tying the stone to the sling. You know, it's like you go to toss it, you whack yourself in the back of the head with it. But I also like this one. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and he who rolls a stone will have it roll back on him. It just reminds me of Wiley Coyote, right? I'm trying to roll the stone up the hill to drop on the road runner, and then he slips or does something, and the stone rolls back and crushes him. Wicked plans make for bad outcomes, not just for the people that you meant it for. And I mean, that's how this starts, right? Like a flitting sparrow and a flying swallow, so a curse without cause shall not alight. I, I cannot say, I, I do, I know witches. I know sorcerers. I know people like this. Voodoos, priests, and things like that. I don't know, I think I know one of those personally. In any case, like, I'm, I'm not saying they don't have some power with the things that they're doing. What I'm saying is the power source that they're tapping into is just a counterfeit for what I'm tapped into as a spirit-filled Christian. So, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of a curse. I'm not afraid of no ghosts, i.e. demons, you know? I just... Oh, I mean, unless Papa Legba shows up himself, in which case I'll be rebuking him like any other demon... But um, you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid of that. You spirit-filled, blood-covered Christian. It's a curse, man. Especially if your heart's in the right place, if you're saying your prayers, I mean, if you're just tooling through life and not doing what you're supposed to be doing, well, good luck. But hmm. say your prayers, live right, pursue righteousness. <clears throat> And this one, man, always comes to me. You know, it's like a, where is it? The thorn in the hand of a drunkard is a proverb, you know, in the mouth of a fool. Basically, they don't have insight. They don't have finesse. 
they just have a thorny branch they want to whack people with because it's expedient. I got a thorny branch and that works for the comment I want to make. So let me tell you this proverb to, to beat you down, right? Or to just misunderstand and use out of context, you know, because a drunkard, right? So, and there's a lion in the road, a fierce lion in the streets. Like, I guess we're just not used to lions where I am. You know, that's a, what a weird excuse. But I mean, I understand it. I can't go out. I can't leave the house. I can't do what I'm supposed to do because something's going to get me. Something bad's going to happen. Mm -mm. That's anxiety. It's an excuse, but if it's truly a worry or anxiety, Jesus said not to worry. You're disobeying one of Jesus' commandments. Listen, listen to the boss. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry. Um, yeah, who passes by meddles in the quarrel not his own? It's like somebody that takes a dog by the ears. I don't want to do that. That doesn't seem... Seems like a way to get bit all kinds of ways. So, let's take that advice and stay out of things that are in our... Even if you're... Even if you're eavesdropping or just hear something, stay out of it. At least if it's a quarrel. If it's a comment in passing and you want to add some input, that's on you. Stay out of quarrels. Don't give your input on them. Don't take a side. <clears throat> oh, man. It's that time of night again. Back's worn out and killing me. We got an MRI on Tuesday. And the doctor already said they don't expect to find anything. So I don't know where that leaves me for my back pain or just anything. Mm. Oh, excuse me. I guess that's it, fam. I said what I had to say. and Thankfully, my phone didn't decide it was too offensive. Anybody got a clue? I guess I'm asking this to one viewer, maybe. Why... What was the keyword? What did I do wrong on some of my shorts? Because I was getting like a thousand views and then it went all the way down to 10 views and then like 40 views and then kind of came back. One of them had Christian and Holy Spirit hashtags. And I'm always watching as I'm testing that to see what does what. And it sure seems like certain hashtags like Christian and Holy Spirit get me throttled or and they're monetized, so they can't demonetize me, but food for thought. Tell me if you notice it. Oh, I'm going to work for a little bit, if I can sustain it. Go with God. Be blessed. Don't roll stones or get crushed by them. Do good for people. Be blessed.